even like other th just get a muffler you know what I mean hey guys today we are doing almost a full face of Kyer Hoist I could be pronouncing this incorrectly but it's a uh, organic clean makeup brand by a professional makeup artist and it's been around for a while and I'm sure you've seen it before it has some beautiful packaging this is the star of the video this is the beautiful tint and I also got an eye cream I haven't taken that out I got a lip color and I got a cheek color and then we'll just finish it off with mascara and whatnot but really what I wanted to do was review this new face product. So the last time this brand came out with a foundation, it was one of the best color matches ever for me. And I'm pretty sure the color was feathery. And it was just ideal. I will post that video here and you can take a look because I don't actually remember what the color was, but it was very, very good. The problem with me and that was I wore it for a couple of days in a row and I got a pimple. I'm 69 years old, you guys. I'm not getting pimples for any reason other than something in that formula didn't agree with me. So I'm hoping that this will be different. Now the colors for this product are different. I thought, oh yay, I'm just going to do the same color and I'm going to be so happy. There's actually only 16 shades and they do actually have a chart, thank you, on their site where it'll say if you wear this color in this formula, this is the color that you get in the tint. So that's how I decided on M1. I am concerned that it might be a little bit warm, I'm not gonna lie. Before we get into it, I'm just going to read some notes. So this is called the Beautiful Tint, and oh my glasses are so dirty. It comes in 16 shades, skin improving and illuminating tint, the perfect complexion enhancing fusion of skincare and makeup. Deeply hydrates for beautifully beaming luminescent skin. Who didn't want that? I am wearing my <laughs> beaming sunscreen right now. Discover the beautiful tint by Kaiser Weiss. Kaiser Weiss? It's not Kaiser. I think it's Kaiser Weiss or Weiss. Revolution, our new tinted moisturizer, the perfect complexion enhancing fusion of skincare and makeup for beautifully beaming skin. So it seems to me that they are saying this is actually skincare with a little bit of tint in it. I'm 69. Let me tell you a little bit about my skin before we go on here. My skin is not dry per se. So if I were to wash my face, immediately afterwards it would feel dry because that's the trans epidermal evaporation but an hour or two later it's not it's soft but my skin no longer produces the kinds of wonderful things that youthful young skin produces like oil <laughs> ceramides hyaluronic acid elastin collagen I'm not doing those so much but I don't have flaky skin my skin isn't dry per se, but it's older skin. And that's really important, I think. So you can decide if what I'm saying here is going to help you out at all. Although I do try to keep in mind other skin types. Let's continue on. Infused skin care, light, breathable, tinted moisturizer, deeply hydrates, soothes, and boosts your skin's natural luminosity instantly and over time tinted luminous skin that lasts driven by our potent high-performing certified organic illuminating ingredients complexion enhancing no makeup makeup 16 flattering shades carefully crafted by Kirsten Kaiser Weiss with the perfect touch of the tint for beautiful undetectable coverage blends seamlessly even skin tone and creates our signature lit from within fresh glow. They are saying that it's non-commodogenic, certified organic, 100% natural, and cruelty-free. All good things. So they are saying that their signature ingredient is the alatoin-rich Dioscoria batatas, which is root of life, which hydrates, traps moisture, 
and is known for soothing, rejuvenating, and skin protecting properties. Abundant in A, C, and E, known for anti-inflammatory, soothing, and collagen promoting properties. And we're just going to go through the ingredients very briefly. I'm not going to torture you or me with these Latin names. But the very first ingredient is lavender water. Lavender oil, not my favorite thing, but this is water, so I don't think it'll be bothersome for me. Some things I can't pronounce, triglycerides, olive fruit oil, mica, and mica gives you that really beautiful finish. If it's not used to excess, squalene, which is a skin identical, and it can actually help oily skin control their oil secretions, and it can be moisturizing to drier skin. So it's a very nice ingredient. Uh, Moringa seed oil. I've seen that recently in something else that I've used. It's a very nice ingredient. Uh, hazelnut seed oil. So there's several oils. Cocoa seed butter, sunflower seed wax. That will help to give it some body. Rose hip seed oil. On and on with the oils. There's also sodium hyaluronate, which is more than halfway down. Subtle alcohol, which is a fatty alcohol, so it won't be drying. So to me, I'm, I'm a little concerned. But for them, they're saying don't use a moisturizer. I mean, they're not saying it outright, but this is your skin care with a little bit of tint in it. Now, I'm going to list my playlist right here for my skin care. I believe in a lot of skin care. I start with very thin things, a couple of essences, and then a couple of serums, and then a couple of moisturizers, and then my sunscreen. So we'll see, because <laughs> I did all that. We'll see how this will work. You can apply this with fingers. This is what their preference is. The idea behind this is you want to warm it up on your hands to make it more pliable. You can pick it up with a brush from there, but you know their first preference is fingers. It's a pump, and it's a little bit it's a little bit runny. I'm a little bit surprised with all those ingredients. I, I guess I shouldn't be. The color looks decent. So so far, this goes on very nicely. There's just ooh. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, this reminds me of Heliotrope. If, if you know Heliotrope, I love the scent of Heliotrope. Okay, so far I'm thinking the color is a yay. Now just yesterday I posted my Chanel Water Fresh Complexion Touch, which I loved. So, oh, this is dried down really fast. Ooh, move, move. So this is kind of a test for that. So I'm moving quickly because it seems to be setting up pretty quickly and I don't want that to happen. I did put on all my skincare solid half hour ago. My sunscreen has been set up. It's a little bit warm for me, but probably not any more warm than the B30 in the Chanel, which is also a little too warm for me, but the B20 is too light for me, and I can get away with it in the summer. This is quite pretty. So that's not fast, so don't do what I did. <laughs> Smells freaking fantastic. I'm just going to work it down a little bit, because I think you can see, I know I can, my face is a little bit warmer than the rest of my body and it oxidizes a little bit so let's go close part of the hand where this has been for just a second or two and the brand new pump and i wouldn't even say it oxidizes that's not really fair i would say that it dries down you know the difference when something actually oxidizes it turns you orange so just going to pull it down a little bit This is really, really nice. Not a lot of coverage, but it diffuses everything very well. I'm not sure I got a great blend because I miscalculated <laughs> uh, 
because of the texture, I didn't think it would dry down so fast. Very pretty. All right, before we go on with the rest of the products, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to change the light a little bit. I'm going to do my brows, and then we will continue on. I'm back. Little brow, a little concealer, and a little something in my eye. <laughs> I wanted to give you a side to side. This is the Chanel 30, and this is the M1. So this is lighter in tone. And I'm just going to move it around a little bit so you can see the undertones a little bit. I feel like the M1 might be warmer, even though it's lighter in tone, than the 30. But the skin looks very, very pretty, 100%. <laughs> Thumbs up. Let's go into some cheek products. So when you get the products, they come like this, and then you take it out in the back, and then you pop it in this little red cardboard component. Or you can get the silver one, which is very, very beautiful. This is the color blushing. So initially it feels a little bit dry. Just work your fingers around to warm that up, and for me, I'm going to put that on my hands, whoa, because that's bright. This is my kind of color. It reminds me of a color Natasha Denona has, which I will pull out, which I was really obsessed with. I think it's called Daria, and it's just a skin brightening, freshening, youthful kind of color that I like to put right on the cheeks and kind of like follow this bone here put some right here too so there's a little bit of a half of an eight that's a beautiful color I'm going to pull out the Denona and we will see what they're like comparison wise but I just put a little bit more on so you can just see how brilliant this is now the lip I got romance which I've never tried these lips before but I thought it might uh, work very nicely <laughs> with this blush color it's even brighter. Oh my goodness. It's even brighter than the blush. Okay, a color like this for me, I love a bright lip, but it will probably need some grounding with the liner. Let's see. Mm, this has a nice scent to it too. Okay, I tasted it. I didn't mean to, but it tastes nice. I think with a color like this, I'm going to go sheerly, but I still feel like it needs to be grounded. So let me just show you what it looks like when I go a little more. Okay. I'm not so sure about this color for me, but it tastes nice and it smells nice and it feels nice. I think a little more sheer will suit me a little bit better. Let's try a little bit of my Victoria Beckham liner. I don't know if this is going to work because the color is much more neutral. I'm not sure this is helping me. I love a bright lip. If you've been here before, you know that. But if there's too much white in it, I don't know that it super, super works for me. Now I also got the eye cream. This is what you do. You kind of pull it down and there it is. I have a little wax over it. And I guess this label will come off. I don't, I don't even want to try it, mainly because I'm not sure that this color is going to work for me. They didn't have a lot of choices in the cream eyeshadow. Again, I'm going to warm this up to kind of break through any seal. And there it is right there. It's very close to the foundation colors. Ooh. That is very pretty. Now I am hooded, so my guess is this is going to crease on me. It's not going to set up, but I'm just going to kind of keep my eyes down and we'll give it a minute and see if it sets up at all. Okay, one, there's still something in my eye. <laughs> and two, this color is beautiful, as you can see. The formula is very creamy and very comfortable. As you know, I'm hooded, the hooded lid, and I often find that with cream or liquid eyeshadows, 
they don't all the way dry down and I can feel the lids every time I blink kind of pulling a little bit. I'm not getting that feeling, but I would be surprised if it doesn't crease. Again, that's something I'm kind of used to. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to try this as a highlighter, even though that's not what it's for. I usually don't go for a golden highlighter, but I was thinking it would work really well with this pink blush, like Orgasm has the gold and the pink. And a little bit the center of the nose. I'm going to do a little mascara, a little bit liner, and then we'll come back and talk about each product. I'm back, and I pulled out the Natasha Denona. This is the blush color that I love, and you can find it in her puff, puff and stuff, or whatever it is. I do not like that formula. The diamonds and something, face palette, and here. And this color is just fantastic on me. There it is right there. So this is deeper, for sure, but my gosh, it's, it looks like it's exactly the same as the lip color. And it is. It is exactly the same as the lip color. You guys, I don't know where I'm going to place this, but I'm coming back for a second day because while I wanted to do a full face of Kejar Weiss, <laughs> I usually do three-day wear tests with a new foundation. So last night I was in bed thinking, this doesn't feel right. I, I feel like I need to do at least one more day and get back to you and let you know how yesterday worked. So let's just do two pumps. Yay. And put it on the face. And I want you to pay attention to what the color looks like when I first put it on. And I think this isn't too bad. It's a little bit warm, but that's okay. It cancels out my redness. But it warms up. And I did notice this in the video that I shot yesterday. When I put this on the first day, I noticed it. But it continued to get warmer still. And that was kind of a problem for me. I wanted to give it another chance also to see maybe it was my sunscreen. Maybe it was just the light yesterday. And I have to go out and run a few errands. So I thought, let's just sit down and do something very quickly for a second day. Blends in like a dream. And you can see. So it's on my forehead and on the side of the face. And boom, boom. Moon. I'll just talk for a little bit and tell you how it went yesterday. But I felt like it kept on getting darker and that this shade isn't going to work for me. So, very comfortable. I love the way it smells. It doesn't have added fragrance, so it's one of the ingredients and it reminds me of Heliotrope. And that is checked for me because I love Heliotrope. It wore beautifully. It stayed all day long. The skin looked beautiful. It was comfortable. I have nothing mad to say about it. Today I'm wearing a different sunscreen. Today I'm wearing the Can Make. And yesterday I wore the Isn't Tree. And the Can Make is, I don't know, it's probably just as shiny. But I wondered, is it possible that it was getting warmer because of my sunscreen? But I just don't think that's the case. I would say if you are my shade, M1 probably isn't going to work for you, even in the summertime if you get some color, because it's not just a matter of it's darker, but it has a lot of yellow to golden mesh going on with it. This is already set. It's still a little wet. There, I can loosen it up again. This sets up very quickly, which is great. You can go on with your makeup right away without worrying about displacing it. I really don't have anything bad to say except that this color, see, this is where it first goes on. I'm like, yeah, this could work. And this is what it looks like after a minute. So I would say go for the next shade lighter if you are around my shade and you might be a little bit happier with this. And I did feel that it got darker still as the day went on. And taking a look, super easy to blend. It doesn't get weird around the nose, which most foundations do. 
and I don't feel like I need to go over it with the Beauty Blender, but if you find that you didn't move quick enough, because this does set up very, very quickly, you could. All right, I wanna try the Chanel because I watched Michelle's video and she used a brush and had a very different effect. So for me, I'm like, just put on layers, just thin layers with your fingers. Today, I'm gonna to use the brush with the pink color, which is a lighter color to see how deep I can get that. Just one pump, I'm breaking those up. I think it's still going to be kind of light on me, especially with this foundation, which is darker. And then I'll just use my finger to make sure there's not a line there. With the blush, without the blush. I'm just going to, we're just still doing a, a part two on the Chanel. Sorry if that's not what you came here for. Because I find there's a lot of slip with this. And with the fingers, you have to just layer. Otherwise, if you move the amount that you picked up on, it's going to be all the way up to your forehead. And now I think they're about equal intensity, but I still have enough left to do the other side. So, just being smart with your money, because it's not an inexpensive product, the most cost-effective way to apply this is the fingers. Just build her up, baby. And uh, yeah, I'll just do my under eyes and show you the final look, and then we'll get the, on to the rest of the video. I don't All right, and this is just the final look. I'm going to go run some errands, and I, I don't need to look like a beauty queen. But it's a beautiful foundation, and it's very comfortable. For me, it lasted all day long. I just think that this color, not fantastic on me. The color comes out. I think it's very workable for me. And now we're gonna go back to the rest of the video. All right, final look with the hair down because don't we all love to see the hair down? I, I, several people have made comments that they do. And it's not that hot today, so I thought we might. What do I think about this? I think that it is lovely. I think the skin looks beautiful. I feel that if you have oily skin, this indeed may be your moisturizer and your color, but you need to do your serums and, and your good stuff. It's not everything. If you have normal skin, you're in between, I don't know, that's something that you would want to play around with. If you have drier skin, no, this is not going to do it. This isn't going to be enough for me. It feels great. It sets down. It doesn't have a tacky nature to it. It looks good. I just don't know if for many people, this is really going to be all you need. This, it's not that it's not comfortable, it is. It's not that it's tacky and I can feel my lids sticking to each other, it doesn't. It's just that there's not that much. But I kind of like it as a highlighter and I don't have anything that is warm for a highlighter. I'm gonna keep it just so I have something that's a little bit golder for a highlight, so that's really good. The lip tint, very comfortable. Love the way it smells, love the way it tastes, but the color just doesn't work for me because it has too much white in it. The blush is lovely. It's not as bright as the one from Natasha Denona, as you saw, but it still works very well, and I do like a pinky, bright kind of color. It's almost coral, really. It both has pink and orange or peach in it, and I think it's lovely for summer, so that is an A+. And I think that's everything, you guys. So, yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I really hope it was helpful, and I hope you come back again. And this is just the right time to ask you to consider giving the video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. And until we meet again, I'm wishing you good health.